Okay, part two here. So we're looking at the short string shapes and we want to get to the long string shapes today is the, is the subject. So if we take an A pattern here, now we're in the A box, we're going to be playing the A diatonic in the key of C, so it would be... My fingers are doing a little better today. Um, <clears throat> if we move the pattern up, we get its fourth, but we're going to play only the pentatonic there. pattern down we get its fifth the fifth of a is e string shape so and also in notes so we're going to play that e pentatonic again okay same thing works for g we start in the g box now with the g the g diatonic That's the G cage C diatonic uh, scale, or diatonic scale in C. Remember, a diatonic scale doesn't have to start. It doesn't have to start on the root. It can. It just has to contain the right number of whole steps and half steps. So all modal scales are diatonic scales, if I'm not mistaken. So we move the pattern up. We go to the fourth of C, which is G. Now we're just going to play pentatonic. Okay, and we go to the fifth of G is D. We move the pattern down. Now we're just going to play the D, D pentatonic. <clears throat> Last but not least, actually we have the E pattern too. So you get the main idea. <clears throat> but we want to work on the long patterns. So you can see how this works, okay? And with the D, you know, so with the E, we go up for the uh, A pattern pentatonic. We go down for the C pattern pentatonic. And with the D, we go up for the G substitution. And we go down for the A substitution in, in the D box there. Now let's look at the long patterns because that's the subject of today's lesson. So they basically follow the same pattern. If I have caged here, it's just for reference. You can see, but the um, this C is right here on the left of the of the root pattern. Now we have the long patterns. We know what our long patterns are. Okay, here's the long patterns. All right, and then on top of that, we go into seven root two, three, four, five. And going into the bottom, we go in at two, three, four. So we've got the G at six, seven root, then the D at two, three, four going into the long patterns. But here's our long pattern. Okay, five, six, seven, root two, three, four, five, six. Additionally, we can see additionally that this is the way the long pattern works when we have the entire S4E going into the long pattern, S3AXL going into the S4E. Okay, we got E, four strings, E to C, fifth of E is C, remember? It's not B, it's C because of string shapes. Okay, and then C goes to G, G goes to D. This is your S4E right here. Then going into the S3AXL right here that we ju I just showed you. This is a pentatonic drawing, so it looks a little like it's got some teeth missing. And we go from A shape to A shape in the next cage, A string shape in the next cage. Remember, every cage has all five string shapes, and one of them doubled the bottom string. So that's 
how it stacks up like that and if we look at a long pattern here okay we have our long pattern right here the s3 axl and below it we have an s4e right here there's our s4e you know e c g d e c g d and then on top of it we have another s4e and then on top of that we have an s3 axl if we had what would look more like a xylophone or some not a xylophone a harp or something just a whole lot of strings you know okay so here's our bottom string right here all right when we're looking at the easiest one to start with might be maybe if we start at the bottom of an s3 axl which would be starting from i guess we have a g shape down here so we're actually going to start on the bottom because we didn't get the g on the short patterns anyway here's 2d long why is it 2d long because there's two here and it's in part of the d shape so we just call it 2d long that particular string right there is 2d long big deal yeah it's just a name if we <clears throat> we're looking at two three and four okay so we're practically in the short patterns but guess what okay if we go to its fourth we get to a g shape we saw that in the short patterns but we go to its fifth now we're going to go to an a shape but we want to go into the long pattern because we know the fret nuts right here so believe it or not we know the fret nuts right there you see and we got to have a fret a fret nut here all right so we're kind of zeroing in on it okay I just want to make that fret nut straight. <clears throat> so if we start right here, we know here's our fret nut. So what do we got? If we have the capo here, we want the, uh, let's say we want to look at the E, so it'd be two, three, two, three, four, and then five, six to the B. Okay, so that would be the, the, um, the diatonic that we'd play at that point would be a pretty long pattern. It'd be down here, two, three, four, five, six, and we go root two, three, four, five, six, seven, root two. So we'd start here, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, and then we'd go seven. So we're already in the long pattern, five, six, five six seven root two three four five six then warping up seven root two three four five and this a being the fifth of e right was a the fifth of e no b is the fifth of e so how did that happen we're supposed to be at three four five there seven root two let's try that one more time so we're starting here on on e oh okay with E as the second, A is going to be, uh, we're in D, A is the fifth of D. Okay, so we were actually playing a D scale there. So it doesn't matter what key you do it in. Okay, so this is the problem for today. You know, that we have, we're going to be looking at D, and we were in D. See that? D, D. Checks. So we go up. To the G for the fourth we go down to the A for the fifth but we know we're gonna play the long pattern we just know it already because we know the D pattern if you look over here the D pattern is going to go over how, how can I show you that right if we show you uh, if I can zoom in here right here we're on the D pattern like that okay this is an open e which is the second of d so it's all right so we we would be needing to go over to this seven on the third string can't do it we know we're playing a long pattern 